This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of our sins we have committed against you and against those made in your image. Father, I ask for now according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, that you camp your angels around all of us participating of this broadcast, around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws, and friends, to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And welcome, everyone, to another live edition. Well, let me tell you what's happening. We are changing things here today. Now, I want to welcome you to our Spiritual Warfare Strategic Prayer Network. Amen. Our live broadcast. So, um, let me see if I have any other announcement other than that. Uh, we already prayed the initial prayer. We're going to be driving out demons here. Let me just go ahead and explain how this is going to work from now on. Okay. As some of you know, I'm, I'm still trying to find a, a place for this camera. This camera is not a good one. So, you know, uh, but as long as you can see me, you know, so you know that I'm here. Okay. That's good. All right. Listen, let me say this to you. Okay. We're going to try to keep this broadcast short, okay? Maybe like a 30 minutes the most. But I need to explain how this broadcast is going to work from now on. Let me see. Let me do this. Okay, good. I want to explain to you how the broadcast is going to be from now on. Okay, some of you already know because some of you are already members of our Spiritual Warfare Strategic Network. What is that that we do? I'm going to explain more in details what... Excuse me. Demons already jumping out. I'm going to explain more in details what the Spiritual Warfare Strategic Prayer Network is all about. And why is that that we have one? I'm going to go into details. Okay? Because from now on, this live streaming is going to be dedicated to our Spiritual Warfare Strategic Prayer Network members. Members, I said. Why? Well, besides praying several times a day in the background, in the spiritual realm for our members, now we are dedicating our live streaming, okay, for our members, our Spiritual Warfare Strategic Prayer Network, okay? In order for you to find out more information and join, you need to go to our website, brothercarlos.com. BrotherCarlos.com. That's the website where you can read more about it. You can watch a couple of videos we have there so you can gain better understanding. Well, why a spiritual warfare strategic prayer network? Well, first of all, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians, although we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Okay? And, and being obedient and, 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 and judging uh, 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 all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So what I want to say is this. Why a spiritual warfare prayer network? Because Satan is a real guy. His evil spirits are real. Okay? They are destroying people every day. Look at the news. What's going on in North Carolina? Millions of people without water, without food. Okay, without electricity power, 
What can they do? No water to drink, no food, no power. In the dark. Is that a beautiful picture? Millions of people. Millions. Okay. Listen. There's a warning in the Word of God, Revelation chapter 12. I read that here yesterday. Okay, I don't have this scripture set up here right now to read, but I'm going to comment. Okay, after, you know, John described Satan being cast out out of heaven on, onto the earth, you know, with his demons, then he said like this, okay, now salvation and the power of our God and you know, and I uh, know now salvation. Now I heard a loud voice. That's what he said. I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and the power of our, of our Christ have come. Okay, salvation and power have come. Okay, the Bible says, For the accuser of the brethren, okay, who accused them day and night day and night, have been cast down. Okay? Okay, now then he said like this, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. Woe, you know, to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. Earth and sea. Land, dry land and water. He said like this, For the devil has come down to you, having great wrath. Because he knows that he has a short time. The point I want to make to you here is this. Why is that that we have a network in place? Okay? Because evil spirits, they have to be confronted. They cannot be allowed to run loose everywhere. Why? Because they can cause destruction, destruction on dry land and also on water. In the sea. Out there. Okay, and also on dry land, right? That's what they are all about. I said they have to be confronted. Okay, they have to be confronted. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God, the spiritual weapons. When Paul said the spiritual, you know, the, 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 the uh, weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That means they are spiritual. How do we overcome Satan and his demons? Spiritually. Spiritually. Okay. So they are here on this planet. No question about it. They are about destruction. All you have to do is turn on the, the TV news. Turn on the news on TV. Turn on the news on TV and you start listening to those people talking. You're going to find out that demons are at work, okay, non-stop, every day, all day long. They are on their mission. And while they are destroying people, we are what? Folding hands, watching Netflix, playing video games, right? Gossiping on the phone. Browsing on Facebook, reading those demon possessed posts from demon possessed people, wasting our time, and demons are at work non stop, day and night, night and day, sick into whom they may devour and destroy. <coughs> That's why we have a spiritual warfare strategic prayer network in place. In place. What is that that we do, Brother Carlos? We confront demons and we put them to run. We have to put them to run. We cannot afford just to be out there and waiting to get hit by them. We cannot afford. Today I saw on the news a young mother. Some of you probably saw that too on Fox News. A young mother doing a fundraising on GoFundMe. And I read it. She, they, they said, well, a young mother of two, the little boys were there. One was probably like a two years old. The other one was even younger. Maybe one, I think, was three years old, something like that. The other one was like a one, maybe uh, less than two. Two little babies, two little toddlers, 
sitting on the mother's lap. And the article read, This young mother is doing a fundraising for her own funeral. The doctor said that she only has three months to live. Cancer. Cancer. Have you ever heard of cancer? I have spoken to cancer. I have communicated with cancer. They have a voice too. They talk. When I said, cancer, you're going to come out of this woman. No, I will not. I said, oh, cancer, you will. You see what I said? Cancer, you are not going to kill this woman. You will come out of her in Jesus' mighty name. No, I will not. I will kill her. I said, no, cancer. That's why I'm here. To cast you out so you won't kill the woman. And that's exactly what happened. Cancer was cast out. And the woman that was supposed to be dead that week lived. Even to this day. It's been already over 10 years. She's still alive. There was a woman that was supposed to die the week that I met her. Pancreatic cancer. And the demon talked to me. Have you ever talked to cancer? I I have several times. They talk. Cancer talks. Okay. Right? You tell me you have cancer. And if I get in front of you, I'm going to make your cancer speak. Cancer, how did you come about? Tell me in Jesus' mighty name, I command you. You are under obligation to tell me. How did you come about? Oh, they always tell me. They always tell me. So the young woman now is doing a fundraising to pay for her own funeral. Okay, because she knows she's dying within three months. If you know her, tell her to call me. I would love to talk to her cancer. I would love to talk to her cancer and put that cancer in its place. I do. That's what I do. I'm sorry. God called me to do this. Okay? God called me to do this. I love putting cancer to run. I love shrinking cancer until they disappear. I just love to do it. I've done it before. And I'm ready to do it again. Okay. So we need our network on this planet. Okay. Look at the White House. What is that? What is that that they're doing? They are destroying America. Okay. All governments now, all around the world, they are doing evil. Most of them. Except, I, I don't think Israel is. Okay. But I think the rest are. You know, about evil, about destruction, destroying their own people. Okay, they are doing, they love to oppress people. We need our spiritual warfare, strategic prayer network in place to confront these devils. Look what the Bible says. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, demonic strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. What is that high thing? It can be a government. It can be someone in power. It can be, yeah, a president or a king over a nation. Okay, something in high place. You know, defiling God. That's why we use our spiritual warfare, strategic prayer network to fight off devils, to put them to run. And now we are dedicating the live streaming to our spiritual warfare, strategic prayer network and its members. Now, besides casting out demons all day long, several times a day, every day, in the spiritual realm, we are now going to do live as well for our members. You heard it correctly. I said members. Why? Brother Carlo, why members and why not open to everybody? Because not everybody is committed. Okay? Some people come here just to play games. Okay? They don't want to change. Okay, they have to show commitment. 
If they show commitment, I will cast their devils out. But if they do not show commitment, I will not do it. From now on, we are going to drive out demons only from our members and their family members and their homes and their pets and their businesses. Let me repeat that in case you did not hear me. Okay, our spiritual warfare, prayer, covering, and network is not for everybody. It's for committed people. People who are committed to their spiritual freedom. I'm getting ready to knock devils out here. But now you know. From now on, we are driving out demons only from our members. Well, the beauty of it, you can become a member today. The beauty of it. You can become a member now if you want. Where, Brother Carlos? BrotherCarlos.com. Right here. BrotherCarlos.com. Okay. The, bro the, the website address is also below this video on YouTube. Okay. You can wait now to see what's going to happen, how we're going to do it, and then you can make up your mind and sign up. Now, listen. Okay. Turn on the news tonight and sit in front of a TV for half an hour, you're going to find out how much destruction Satan is performing on this planet right now. He and his demons, you name it, they are behind it. Destruction. Millions of people without water in America, in the Carolinas. Millions of people without water, without food, and without electricity power. Go figure that out. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. Woe to, in, to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. Dry land and water. Dry land and water. For the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knows that he has a short time. Who's behind hurricane? Satan is. Look at what the hurricane did to people. Destroyed people all over. Over 125 people dead by now, so far. There will be more. Okay. Homes totally destroyed, destroyed and swept away. Entire houses. Who's behind hurricane? Satan is. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And the sea, dry land and water. There's a reason we are, why we have our spiritual warfare, strategic prayer network in place. There's a reason why somebody got to fight Satan. Somebody got to fight his demons. Some people got to do it. And the spiritual warfare, strategic prayer network is set aside by God for that very purpose. To put Satan to run away and to put his demons to run away. That's why I'm here. He is speaking to you right now. Right now. Am I afraid of Satan? Not a bit. Not even a bit. Do I know he's powerful? Yes. But Jesus is more powerful than he, he is. We're going to drive out demons from our members. Now listen. If I were you and you are not a member here, become one. Because you are, you and your family members are on Satan's list to get hit sooner rather than later. You and your family are on Satan's list to get hit by him and his demons sooner rather than later. If I were you, I will join the spiritual warfare strategic prayer network today. Don't go to bed tonight until you have signed up. You and your family members, you and your household. Why? You sign up yourself and then your household, your entire household is already in Included. You can sign up for three months, six months, one year, or a lifetime. You can sign up for three months, uh, six months, 
one year or a lifetime. Several people have already signed up for a lifetime. Congratulate to them. They don't have to worry about resigning. Okay. Amen. Now there are a bunch of them that signed up for three months. Well, after three months, okay, this is recorded in heaven. Okay. Heaven is in charge of our database. When your three months is up, heaven knows. Because heaven knows who you are, where you live, and your name. Okay, heaven knows everything about you. Heaven sees when you sign up. So when your membership is up, heaven knows. From that moment on, you will not be covered. Okay, not even for one second. Unless you resign. For another three months, or for six months, or for one year, or for a lifetime. What is that that we do for our members? We go after their devils all over the planet, on water and also on, on the sea. Okay? Dry land and water. Dry land, doesn't matter where they are. If they are traveling by water, then yes, we are covering them right there where they are. Right there. Right there. We're doing the spiritual realm. And here, we're going to be driving out demons on behalf of our spiritual warfare strategic network members as well. That's why we have this live streaming going on now. From now on, it's dedicated to our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network. After we are done here, do yourself and your family a favor and sign up so you won't be fighting Satan alone. Brother Carl, I don't fight Satan alone, okay? I fight Satan with Jesus. Psalm 91, Brother Carlos. He who dwells in this secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Brother Carlos, I don't have to worry about it, fighting Satan, because I'm protected. Well, you said it right. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, you have to dwell there. If you dwell there, you are safe. But if you do not dwell there, you are not safe. That promise is not for you. Now, I can put my eyes on somebody and I know if that person is dwelling in the secret place of the Most High or not. 99% of the population are not. Go figure that out. 99% of the population are not, you know, dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. No, they are not. Only 99% of the population. 1%, yes. 1% of the population, yes. But 99% are not. Go figure that out. Go find yourself there, somewhere. Okay. Thank God that Brother Carlos is called to knock devils out. Thank God. Okay. Thank God that we put demons to run every day. Every day. Several times a day. Okay. We enter the spiritual realm and we put devils to run on behalf of our members. Now we are also doing live. And let's drive out demons right now from our members right now. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. If you are a member, this prays for you. If you are not a spiritual warfare strategic prayer network member, this is not for you until you become a member. Then once you become a member, you and your family, your household and your business, they're all included, okay? Even your pets, okay? Come out, evil spirits. Come out now. Get out of everyone who has signed up for our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network. Get out of them. Get out of, our, of their family members. Get out of their entire household. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out of them. Come out of them. It doesn't matter where they are, devils. I can get to you in a heartbeat. Okay, devils? You cannot hide from our network. We find you on this planet. It doesn't matter where you are trying to hide. We'll get to you and we put you through running, Jesus, mighty name. Come out.
If we spirits get out of our spiritual warfare, strategic prayer network members, get out of them, get out of their family members, get out of the entire household, get out of their businesses, get out in Jesus' mighty name, get out of their pets and go straight to the abyss. Go straight to the abyss. Go now to the pit. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. I now break all witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, word, curse, and evil eye, envy, jealousy. Off our spiritual warfare, strategic prayer network members. Off of them. Off their family members. Off their finances. Off their businesses. Off their entire household. Off their automobiles and transportations. Off their pets. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, if we spirits back off, back away, get out of them, get out of our spiritual warfare, strategic prayer network, you know who they are, devils, you know it, you know it, get out of there, you know I'm addressing you, and you get out now, in Jesus' mighty name, spirit of death, come out, infirmity spirits, go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Infirmity spirits get out. Sickness and disease come out. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Come out now mental illness. Come out now schizophrenia. Sickness and disease. Premature death. Come out depression. Come out suicidal thoughts. Get out of our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network members. Get out of their family members. Get out of their household. Get out in Jesus mighty name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Drug addiction, alcohol addiction, pornography addiction. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. In Jesus' mighty name. Go now to the pit now. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Get out of everyone who has signed up for our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network. Get out of their family members. Get out of the entire household. Go now to the pit. You know devils, you cannot touch them, right? We cover them in prayer every day, several times a day. So demons, you know you have to back away, don't you? You know you have to back off, don't you? You know you cannot kill them with cancer, don't you? Of course you cannot. Because every day we put you to run. Every day. And now we are doing live as well. Right here, devils. You know you cannot kill them with cancer, don't you? Of course you do. You cannot kill them with cancer. You cannot kill them in automobile accidents. You cannot because every day we go after you and we put you to run in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out, come out evil spirits. Go away, curses. Go away, witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, wood, curse, and evil eye, envy, jealousy. Go away now. Go away now. Back off. Go to the pit. Back off. Go to the pit. Come out of our spiritual warfare, your strategic prayer network members. Get out of them. Get out of them. Get out of their homes. Get out of the entire household. Get out in Jesus' mighty name. Get out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. I command you now to go straight to the abyss. Go straight to the abyss. Go now to the pit. Friends, you know we come here live every day. Okay, at 5 p.m. Pacific time. 8 p.m. Eastern time. I already found out that some uh, UK, UK people watching us as well at 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Their time. They're here. Okay? Praise God. More power to them. Okay? Less demons to attack them. Okay? Because here we are serious about this. This is a calling. This is a mission. Our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network is about putting demons to run. It's about breaking witchcraft, voodoo and the like. 
We're not playing games. We don't play games here. We are serious about this. This is a calling. This is a mission. And if I were you, okay, look at the destruction that is taking place in America right now. Okay, why? Because Satan found those people vulnerable. Okay, that's why he attacked them the way he did. Vulnerable. All right, no spiritual thing going for them. Just vulnerable. Unfortunately, he goes after the weak one, the weak ones, don't doesn't he? Okay. When they when Satan sees that some people are fighting him off right here, he rather goes elsewhere where there's nothing going against him. Nothing. All right. Then he goes there and he brings destruction. Okay. Okay. Every day now we're going to be here driving out demons from our members, from our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network members. And if I were you, I will do my very best to sign up. More power to you when Brother Carlos and his network is going after demons on your behalf. Okay? On your behalf. And on behalf of your entire household. More power to you. Okay, amen. That's why Christ gave us power and authority so we can use them to fight the enemy and his demons. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Who is the enemy? Satan. I have given you power to overcome all the power, I, I gave you authority to overcome all the power of Satan. So it's our job to do it. It's my job to put the master run. It's not Jesus' job. It's my job. He gave me authority to do it. It's your job. Now the beauty of it, when you join us here, we are one body. Fighting all for those who belong to the network. More power to you. And believe me, our network is growing. Our network is growing as I speak to you. Okay? The more people we have joining us, the more powerful this network will become. The more anointed, the more powerful. That's what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to end the broadcast and tomorrow we're going to knock more devils here on behalf of our members. And if I were you, I would go to brothercardos.com right now and sign up right now because Satan is rolling like a lion seeking to whom he may devour. You, you can be next. You or anyone in your family can be next. Okay. Join us and let's fight together. How about that? Amen. That's what we do here. I'm going to pray the final prayer right now, and then we'll go and then come back tomorrow for more. If you got here late, this broadcast is being recorded. You can watch it, the whole video on YouTube. Amen. Now you can sign up below this video. Our website is below this video as well. Now, folks, if you don't want to sign up, that's fine. If you think you can fight Satan alone, that's okay. If you think your lukewarm church can fight Satan for you, I know you are deceived. They are not. But you believe that they are, then, okay, whatever. Okay. Now, you don't have to join us as a member. But if, you know, if you feel like dropping a coin here, you know, make a donation to support this mission, okay? We do ministry full time. Okay. That's why we are here every day now and knocking devils out all throughout the day. Drop a coin. So a financial seed to help us out. But if you can join us, do it tonight. Don't wait until tomorrow. Do it. God bless you now. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day. And until tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Amen. God bless you now. Have a good day. Bye.